Hallelujah, family. Welcome again. God bless you all, family, in the name of Jesus. Wow, this is a new day that the Lord has made that we all should rejoice and be glad. For in Jesus' name, your name and picture was given to this particular witch doctor to heal you. Hallelujah. Your name and picture was given to this witch, doc witch doctor to kill you. God bless each and every one wherever you're joining. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. For proper introduction, if you're coming across this very channel for your first time, welcome to Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. I'm the man God is using. Become part of this great, amazing, and lovely family as you subscribe. So whenever I'm live, you will be notified together. Let's pray. Turn on your bell notification. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if there is a man and a woman like you and I to pray, there is a God to answer in the name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word, hallelujah. Yes, it's a prophetic word of warfare. Hallelujah. The Lord laid this word in me. Praise Master Jesus at the place of prayer. I saw your name and picture. Hallelujah. That was taken to a witch doctor. Praise Master Jesus to fight you to death. So I heard the, this word being declared that their mission is only for you to go down. They just want to see your life be destroyed. They don't want to see you stand. They don't want everything. So they want to drain you. They want to kill you slowly, slowly until you go down. God revealed to redeem. If God has exposed this particular situation, the prophetic word today, God is stepping into your life in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of First John, chapter number 4, verse 4, that greater is he that is in us. Hallelujah. Let me read it. First John, chapter number 4, verse 4, it says, I'm reading from King James Version. He, he are of God, little children, and have, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God has come, God has sent me to remind you that you should know who is in you because a, a, the battle line has been drawn. The Bible says when Goliath drew the battle line, David never waited for Goliath to attack him. The Bible said David ran to the to, 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 to the battle line. De David was the one that walked towards it. God has revealed this particular prophetic word. Don't wait. Don't wait for it to make manifest before you start praying. Huh? Listen to me, child of God. Huh? To you, the strain of tomorrow prayers lies start on today prayer. Hallelujah. The strain of tomorrow prayer is coming from today prayer. Somebody must pray in the name of Jesus. And another word of assurance, Lamentation chapter 3 verse 37. The Bible says, who is that one that speaketh forth a word, speaketh forth a word upon your life and it come to pass? When the God of the entire universe has not spoken, is a liar is a liar. One with God is majority. I want you to stand family and key and connect to this particular prophetic word. Go back to your closest. Listen, if you are being in the, in the outer court, it's high time for you to enter the inner court and tell God, Father, whosoever that have taken my name in any altar or shrine in the name of Jesus, there should be a catapulting back in the realm of the spirit. Uh, let that spell go back to sender. Let it go back to sender. The sender and the wish doctor. The sender and the wish doctor. Let it go back to them in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody watching and connecting anywhere they are invoking your name in any altar or any shrine in the name of Jesus. By the reason of this declaration, I declare and I decree, let any evil words go back to sender and let the God of Elijah that answer by fire, may it answer us for in Jesus' name. Amen.